What's good everybody in the building man, it's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in today guys and today we have the Jordan 3 Craft. It's 2024 and it's time for a new year, a new season, a new chapter in your life. And what more better than, you know, starting off things fresh, fresh with a gift to yourself or a gift to a loved one. I got something special for you guys and girls out there. And this is the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. Let's start things off first with the Lawnmower 5.0. This is a grooming powerhouse and it comes with two interchangeable blades. One is the skin safe trimmer and the next one is the skin safe foil blade. So your grooming routine just got upgraded times 10. You are now going to be getting a bigger LED spotlight out there and is made to work with different skin tones. So regardless of your skin complexion and those hard to see areas, you can still get a very precise shade. And this trimmer, the Lawnmower 5.0, is extremely versatile and it's waterproof. So you can go ahead and get that trim going on while in the shower or even with some shaving cream and with it being waterproof it's extremely easy to clean and if you're someone that likes to have a little bit more control over the length that you're going to end up going the lawnmower 5.0 comes with three length setting combs from 1.4 millimeters to 12 millimeters and in charging this has never been easier charging is with a usb c port right there on the bottom and then speaking of charging let's talk about its battery life it features a 700 mah lion battery which can hold a charge up to 60 minutes non-stop that gives you plenty of time to get the perfect shave and some more along with that the motor in this bad boy is a 7200 rpm motor which is going to give you an efficient shave each and every time and if you're still concerned about that battery level you have a three led light system that indicates how your battery is doing so you can see we're still full right here and if you're someone that's on the move going to be traveling like i will be soon there is a travel lock feature which will ensure that your lawnmower 5.0 will not cut on hold it down right there there's that lock uh locked not cutting on you have to do this to unlock it check it out easy then you got the weed whacker get your mind out the gutter for nose hairs and ear hairs still featuring the skin safe technology and as well as being waterproof you ain't got to worry about any nicks cuts or bruises at the end of the day after trimming down below you have the crop soother it's a great ball aftershave lotion and it's made alcohol free fragrance free and helps soothe those razor burns and potential ingrown hairs and last but not least the crop preserver a clear drying quick absorbing lotion featuring aloe vera and is free of aluminum cruelty free dye free and paraben free and that's not the end each order will come with two free gifts one being a brand new tool shed right here new you know tool kit travel bag the shed 2.0 as well as a pair of boxer 2.0 and these are no ordinary boxers these are the 2.0 boxers featuring the magnificent jewel pouch and the shed 2.0 is a premium bag that will hold all your grooming essentials when needed so there you have it the performance package 5.0 ultra check out the link down below in the description get 20% off on your order plus free shipping and that's also including international free shipping check out the link down below join up sign up get yourself something for you or a friend or your man whatever salute to manscape for sponsoring today's video today guys we have the jordan 3 craft aka the jordan 3 ivory and so far these are set to release on february 3rd for a retail price point of 210 buckarooskies these i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro these right here these fire. Real good overall quality material. Brings out the essence of the craft, which is always that homemade upper echelon materials made and utilized to make a very, very dope shoe. Sometimes it's hit or miss, like the fives, I wasn't a big fan of those. The fours, I was in the Photon and in the Olive. That $210 price point, I'm not a fan of. Even though it's $10 more than the 200 that we were spending nowadays, I still feel like it's a little too much. But, bam. I mean, what they did here with this shoe overall, I really do like it. It has a very nice, good overall solid material of the upper being in leather, as well as some suede, and you have the elephant print on those side panels. The elephant print itself is slightly different than your typical elephant print. As I stated before, like a scraped off version, and it is a scraped off version, and then the inner lines, the debossed part, has ink within. Now. Typical elephant print is the same way as far as it being gray and then on the inside of that gray is the debossed look, the debossed part that is then printed in black, I would say. It's always confusion with that because like is, I would have to say that the elephant print is gray and then it's debossed and then that inside debossed part is 
then lined with all the black material. It's not that it's black first and then scraped off to make some sort of, uh, I don't know, I wonder. I wonder like is the, feel free, let's, let's think about it in the comment section, right? When we talk about the elephant print, right? What is the original material of the elephant print? Because there are two different colors. One is gray, one is black. Was it black? And then parts were scratched off to reveal a gray underneath? Or was it all gray and then debossed, the print was debossed like into the material and then that was lined up with a pen or something to give you that black you know, lining throughout the whole entire shoe. I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm a little off topic, but that's what you got here going on. Just like the typical oven print, it's just a different color. And it almost feels like it's slightly a different material. It feels, I would say, closer to like a, a to a leather, a new buck. You know, new buck is leather that's scraped. Like finally, like fined, scratched to a fine surface. And it feels like leather that's been scratched off to a very, very fine surface. Sorry if I'm just causing confusion here, but I'm just really trying to like go into detail on this particular shoe because it's different. I haven't seen something like this before. But you do have that two like layering that suede and then on top of that the elephant print on the front as well as on the back on the back panel you have the Jumpman logo and the plastic back tab and then underneath that you do have you know a Nike Air on the back and it seems as if that's probably just in print because when rubbing your hand putting a little bit of pressure on that plastic it's pretty flat to the surface so that appears to be a pretty this plastic print on that back piece right there. You also have feature on here though, on this little paint area, the ivory that's coming in here. And I believe this is ivory, uh, gray mist cream ivory. It was on the box here, it's well stated. Air Jordan 3 Retro Craft. So you have the ivory going around here, ivory on the back, ivory also on the bottom as well. And of course the gray from Jordan, the gray right there. And a little bit different, you have this covering going on on the eyelets on both ends. Extra material added on. Kind of similar how there was like a little extra piece of square on the Jordan 4 for the Jordan 4 craft as well. And I'm not against it. It's it's overall, it's a cool looking shoe. I like this shoe and I think it's a very sexy colorway. I actually think these might do fairly well. Let me just look. Let's, I feel like these are gonna do fairly well at the end of the day. I think these will possibly sell out. At the same time, that 210, it's, it's always give or take, bro. It's tough, man. Like $210 is, is just a lot, bro. It is, it is. Like, it, trust me guys, it's a lot. Once a month, maybe, but like back to back to back, that's when it gets out of hand. Yeah, currently right now, these are going for $250 if you want to buy them. But you're talking about a shoe that's not releasing in two weeks. So people are going to sp spend more money for an unreleased shoe. That's just how it typically is. On the actual, uh, on the tongue here, you have an embroidered gray that I guess they would, was this the gray mist or the, uh, yeah, the gray mist on the actual tongue. And then you have a printed jump man that's like almost like of a shadow figure of the jump man like a little shadow part which is in ivory so you have that featured in there and that is printed on which you can still feel as well then typical embroidery i like it something different i'm happy that they didn't they make the shadow offset the actual embroidered jump man is still in line and in the middle here everything else pretty typical you got a little widow's peak on the tongue but no widow's peak on the toe box uh, very nice and low toe box at the end of the day, not extra bulky. I like the shape overall. The inside of it is that gray mist with the Jumpman Jordan on the inside there. A Jordan 3, you know, in ivory. Very nice. Reminds me a lot of the, uh, I want to say the Jordan 3 anniversary that dropped a couple years back, 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 back before a lot of us probably were even sneakerheads. <laughs> but there was a all white, I believe it was a Jordan 3 anniversary. Yep, silver 3 um anniversary and these dropped back in 2010 well i was a sneakerhead back then so maybe i'm talking too much i was a, i was a sneaker in 2010 but i just got out of high school so i probably was uh doing dumb shit, not you know focused on every single sneaker release but with that being said be on the lookout for these releasing february 3rd 210 dollars and i i think these will do fairly well i'm gonna be honest i think these are gonna do pretty good so stay tuned i love y'all i appreciate y'all and i'm gonna end y'all off with the on foot i'm out Peace.